How y'all doing? It's Auntie Danny, the kids' favorite auntie. How y'all doing today? What's going on with y'all? So listen, let me tell y'all. <clears throat> I went to Whole Foods today. I was only looking for sugar scrub for the body. You know, I've been on a lot of self-care, more than usual. So I go in Whole Foods, you know, looking bougie, you know, glasses on, you know, little purse. <laughs> and I'm in there and I'm like, watch me come out of here and spend $8,563.23 on about three items, like all the damn time. So I'm going to show you what I got. I got a little haul here. So the first thing I see when I go in is flowers. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give me some flowers to put in my vase. So I already got the water out. So I got some tulips, 10 tulips. And I got a little bouquet here where the tulips can kind of sit around it and they will match each other perfectly. So I got some flowers. So that probably was about $200. <laughs> you know how, you know how whole foods look, okay? I got the bag. Look, I brought a little Whole Foods bag. So when I always go there, I can put my stuff in the bag because I don't go nothing over this. Okay, if I got to get two of these, then my bill is $23,000. I'm not doing it. So I got that. So I needed a red onion. This was 71 cents. This probably was the cheapest thing at the good Whole Foods, okay? Got that. I love a red onion. And I think these red onions I got up here, they're a little tired. Okay. Um, so I needed some apple cider vinegar. So I got some of the Bragg's apple cider vinegar with the mother. This probably was $3,000 by itself. But who's counting? I mean, we get money out here. So who's counting? I mean, <laughs> so then I go by the seafood. And I said, you know, oh, those shrimps look huge. Let me get some. So I said, can I get a half a pound, right? When he handed me the package, I said, well, damn, is it three in there? So I'm going to open it with y'all. So I had asked for a half a pound to go with my dinner tonight because I'm making salmon and a couple of scallops. So I was like, you know what? I can do that with the scallops and put my shirataki noodles. Y'all know what my shirataki noodles is, right? I'll show y'all in a minute. So I pay seven dollars and five cents. So I'm gonna show y'all firsthand how many shrimps. I'm gonna open it up. I wish I could show y'all, but I don't want none to fall. So a half a pound got me one, two, three, four, five, six shrimp. But the shrimps are huge. The shrimps, that's one thing they didn't play about. The shrimps are huge. So I'm not entirely mad about six shrimp being $7 because I almost paid like a dollar a shrimp, okay? And listen, we pay a dollar a shrimp in the hood at the, at the spot, so let's see shrimp. Okay, so I got that. And it'll be totally transparent. So, you know, sometimes I don't live right. You know, I try to live a ketogenic lifestyle, low carb. And I don't know if it maybe because I was hungry. But I ain't living right, y'all. I ain't living right. We fall down. Don't we get up? It is a brown butter chocolate chunk cookie. Who was going to leave that? Who was going to leave that behind? It was $1.49. Mind you, I didn't even look at the calories or nothing. The sugar, the carb, nothing. I just saw a brown butter chunk, chocolate chunk cookie. And then I saw it say what it contained, and it says may contain allergens. I ain't got no allergies. I ain't got no allergies to this here. I'm not going to eat it tonight, though. I'll probably have it tomorrow with a coffee. And then I'm going to live right after that. 
we fall down, but we get up. It happens. Okay. And then the stars of the shows, which is what I really came for, was the scrubs. Oh. And you know what? Before I go to the scrubs, you know, I don't never leave Trader Joe's without getting their fresh guacamole. It's so, so good. And I like to put guacamole, like when I have fish, on top of my fish. Or if I have a salad, I like to mix it in my salad. It's a good fat. You see how I be trying to balance it out? The cookie, but the guac. The cookie, but the guac. You see how I did that? You see how I did it? Yeah. This was about $10,000, but you know what? It's fine. Um, let's move on. So, the stars of the show are the sugar scrubs. Now, I was in this area looking for the sugar scrubs the whole time. And I was like, and I'm looking at what the tags say at the bottom displays, and it said scrub, but I, I could have sworn it said salt. So that's why I was like, no, that's not what I'm looking for. So I saw one <clears throat> that was called Unicorn Bath Scrub, okay? It has grapefruit essential oil, vanilla essential oil, sugar, safflower oil, and mica. So this was $7.68. Open it up with y'all. Let me see what it's consistent with see is like. Because sometimes, to me, when it looks a little too dry, even though, it, even though it has oil, that's my neighbor's, even though it has oil, I like to put a little extra oil. Oh, it smells so good. You know, I got, you know, I like to get my skin, you know, together because you know I need a man with a slow hand and an easy touch. And when he touch me, I like his hand to slide. That's what I like. Oh, this smells good. Okay. Let me feel the consistency. Okay. So the oil is in here, however, it's not greasy. Now, personally, I'm going to add some grapeseed oil. Oh, it smells delicious. Okay. Oh, that smells good. That grapefruit and vanilla together. It really, really smells good. Okay. So, again, that one had oil, but it wasn't drenched. Now, this one is called Citrus Bath Scrub. So, it has... <laughs> It has tangerine essential oil. It has orange essential oil, lemon essential oil, safflower oil, sugar, mica, titanium oxidized, iron oxidized. So this one was $4.94. Smell this one. That smells good too. It's very citrusy. Very citrusy. Again, it has oil in it. I think they put just enough that the sugar soaks it up, but not enough to where you see it like the oil in here. I need oil, so I'm going to put a little extra oil. And this one is called Spearmint Lemongrass Scrub. So this has spearmint. Uh, spearmint essential oils, lemongrass essential oils, safflower oil, sugar, mica, titanium oxidized, sea clay, and iron oxidized. This was $3.66. So it's not filled to the brim like the unicorn one. But here we are. And I smelled it before. I took it off. Oh, my God. Oh, it smells so spearminty. I don't know about y'all, but after you take a good shower with some good water pressure, and you scrub your body with a good scrub, like a baby, you'll be ready for bed, like a pamper, your bottle or your, your passy, and you'll be ready for the bed. Mm, this smells so good. Yeah, this one, you can tell it has oil because of the consistency, but it's not a lot of oil, like I said, where you would definitely 
feel the oil or the oil will be swimming on the top. So I'm, I'm going to do that because I like my oil to swim. Okay. So listen, that is all I bought from Traders. And that probably came to about $13,000. But who's counting? I mean, Miss Trader. I mean, I'm sorry, not Trader Joe's because you know I go there too. Y'all know I love me a good trader. But this was Whole Foods. I haven't been there in a while, but they did deliver. I do go to... Um, I do go to Trader Joe's. They do have a good scrub, too. They have a lavender salt scrub. But I opted for the sugar scrub this time because the sugar scrub is good for, like, your bikini line, um, around your private area, your underarms. It doesn't burn. It's actually more soothing than the salt. Salt is good, too, but not for that area. You don't want no salt over there. No bueno. So... That is all. And yeah, if y'all like these hauls, please give it a like, a thumbs up, share. Um, let me know what y'all y'all would like to see in the next one or anything in particular you're looking for. Um, again, I just have been on self-care, like making sure your skin is good, you know, the, the seasons are changing. You want to make sure your skin is good. Um, and because, you know, um, I had surgery in, in, in post-op, you know, I'm trying to take care of the area, make sure it's smoothed out, make sure my scars heal evenly and the line is fine and just taking care of it, like avocado butter, um, when I moisturize, vitamin E, things of that nature. So yeah, let me know if y'all have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I try to answer, I comment all the time. Let me know, guys. It's so good seeing y'all today. Have a good day and be safe. Love y'all. Bye.